hello. Fancy you running into you here. I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out with me and smoke weed and fill our bellies with diet soda and play Burnout Revenge for the PS2. Hello. Hello everyone and welcome back to another fun extra bonus video which I have been putting out a lot of recently which is totally okay by me. I love giving extra content when I can. Today we are talking about the most recent intermission which is the longest one by a long shot at a whopping 32 pages which I think is going to be turned into a chapter given the comments by Teshi underneath the page. The intermission slash chapter is called Behind Closed Doors, and it is meant to take place in between Ice Block and Dial Tone. Now, if you remember some time back, I made a video discussing a post that was made on the BCB thread talking about some draw stream announcements. Now, I was quite skeptical at the time because people on the code threads tend to lie and exaggerate and stretch the truth and other nefarious things, but I am quite surprised to see that two of the three things I was most skeptical about have actually come true. The first being the Eternal Flame page edits, which I made a quick little video about. And now the second one, this intermission slash chapter that was going to be placed in between Ice Block and Dial Tone. Now, what exactly is it about? Well, Teshi wants to kind of fill in the Apollo not liking Daisy arc or like his resentment or him avoiding her because she just wants to fluff it up, I guess. I don't know, even she admits that everyone kind of just got what was going on, and I don't know if this is necessary to have, but more content is fine, and it is good to see that she does care enough to want to go back and to fill out the world a little bit more, even if we probably aren't going to get any crazy new revelations from this, because, well, it has to follow in the canon of everything that happens later, which is a lot of chapters. I mean, this was like right at the beginning of the new art style, the new digital clean style that she was going for. So quite a lot has happened since then, and she's going to have to be mindful to not break that continuity or it's going to be a whole domino effect and everything gets destroyed. Anyway, with these two announcements being real, it'll be interesting to see those extra pages of Apollo fantasizing, cuddling with James that are going to be slipped into Golden Hour. With all of that being said, let's talk about the next big announcement. In fact, I think it's even bigger than this, which is they're making an Omnibus 2, which obviously they're going to. The comic is more than just the first three volumes, but I just didn't expect it to be announced so soon. The Volume 7 book just got finished up on Kickstarter and they haven't even sent those out yet. They don't come out till next month. At the very least, everyone's going to get a physical Volume 4 book now. I know everybody has been beating their chests and demanding and begging that Teshi and Suitcase do another run of the physical Volume 4 books. And I mean in the big book format, not in the little omnibus format. But you got to take what you can get, right? They've kind of stonewalled everybody at every turn when it comes to that. So, oh well. The other teeny tiny thing that's going to bother me is that now this is not going to be like the canon volume 6 book. I know that there have been alterations made to the other volumes. All of volume 1 is non-canonical now. It basically just exists as its own separate universe. It's like vaguely tangentially canonical. That's really all I got to say about any of this. It'll be interesting to see the Apollo X James stuff and Golden Hour going forward. And it's cool that we're getting another omnibus and maybe this new chapter will be worth it. I mean, Teshi's kind of been on a roll recently, so hopefully this too will fall into line with the rest of that, even though it's going to take place like a year ago in canon. Like this is like before Mike even knew that Sandy was cheating on him. It's cool that the post was mostly true so far. And yeah, that's it. All right. See you guys for the live stream.